what is going on guys welcome back to a brand new video and today is a special day because you all know what's about to happen um this is something you guys have been waiting for some of you guys probably don't know but uh today we are going to be installing eight inch lincoln chrome flat top stacks on the classic and uh first thing we're about to start doing me and my dad are about to get to work we're gonna be taking off the driver's side first. And uh, yeah, I got new uh, uh, brackets for the actual, where the clamps sit. So that'll be new. Uh, we'll probably repaint, uh, these are good. The other ones on the other side are bad. They're rusted out and they broke off. So we're gonna start with the uh, teardown. So let's get to work. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is taking off this heat shield. Right, it is a uh, half inch. I got this snap on 3 8 cordless which uh, gets the job done well that broke off <laughs> that one came that one came out uh, so yeah we're gonna I got this extendable ratchet that's how I'm getting to this one up here I recommend using a ladder thing oh man so we're gonna take these uh we're gonna take these brackets off right or i guess we could start at the top and we'll work our way down to the bottom so okay. there she goes guys look how rusted it was right here on the bottom Then the elbow comes out and then uh, we are going to unbox one of the elbows and then we have to see how much we have to cut um, on the cab itself. Don't know if we got to cut on this side, we'll see. I mean, because you know the cab flexes and the exhaust stays in place, so, but we'll figure that out here in a second. It's coming out. So we got everything off. We're gonna take whatever's in here off. Oh, just brush it out. Got WD-40 to everything. Gotta let it soak for a little bit. And then uh, we're gonna get back to it, take those brackets off. I got my Rust-Oleum uh, high gloss paint that uh, I left in the garage when I brought it last night. So we are uh, about to get down and dirty with uh repainting that making it look nice these brackets seem still fine the only thing i'm going to be replacing is the bushings uh so yeah i think they should be just fine give them a nice little sand them down a little bit paint them we're good as new but i do want to show you guys that uh you know <clears throat> this side is completely gone it's rusted out this bracket's broken on this side right there i believe it's broken up here as well and these mufflers are just completely shot as y'all probably saw this muffler is just gone dude it is so if anybody that's gonna be in the comments saying oh can you can i buy it off you no dude i would never sell this to anybody maybe you can have the elbow the elbow is still fairly new so but yeah i'll catch y'all when we uh, take those brackets off all right guys, so we got the brackets off. We had our struggle with this one. We kind of nicked the cab, but that's fine. We'll body fill that later. Uh, so we cleaned it up with brake cleaner, and I'm probably gonna paint over it with this Rust-Oleum uh, gloss protective enamel. 
just respray it, make it look all white again. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's get it doing that real fast. Dude, my dad gave me his Orville sander, sand them down. We're about to brake clean them, and uh, then we're gonna paint them so they can match the truck. And then we're also gonna paint that section of the truck with that, just to kind of clean it up, make it look a little nicer. So let's uh, clean this up, and then we'll get to it. There it is professional spray can job <laughs> where the other ones in the uh in that bo uh, box so just these three yeah yeah bring them so painted this these you can see this is a supposedly it's supposed to protect from rust gloss protective enamel so it's rust-oleum stops rust literally says it on the can so uh, I think it'll be pretty nice. Um, and then we're gonna do these brackets here on the semi truck, and uh, hopefully it turns out okay. So we're gonna be real slow not to get any paint on anything, but let's try give it a shot. All right, guys. So as you can see, we painted it up with that Rust-Oleum stuff, and uh, it don't look the best up close, but it looks good from afar, and that's all that matters. All right, guys. We're about to start on this side right here, and. Uh, about to take this off, a little rusty, but it should come off, so let's get it work. All right, y'all, this thing is rusty as ever. Let me go get some gloves. Freaking heavy. Oh. <clears throat> All right, guys. There you have it, dude. I just took that whole thing off. Holy crap. Look at all this stuff in here. Holy crap. Dude, that muffler is gone, dude. <sighs> oh, man. Bull crap, man. I, I'm gonna take a break. All right, y'all. Might not look the best, but it's dry. This is what that Rust-Oleum paint did. Looks so shiny, man. I might paint the whole truck this paint color. Do it with that spray can. I really don't care. Looks a whole lot better than what it did, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, looks a whole lot better. Up there, it kind of looks messy, but hey, what can you do? I'm not a perfectionist. Well, I am a perfectionist, but when it comes to wind and everything, you can't really do much. Uh, so, <clears throat> we got those clamps that we're going to put on. And then, uh, yeah, we're cleaning up this side. Take these off. Don't know if I should get a new Y-pipe, man. I really don't know. Because uh, then I got to take everything <clears throat> off. Alright, y'all. So, it's the next day. And, uh, 
<sighs> Yesterday was just an annoying, an annoying day. Yeah. Um. So, apparently it's supposed to rain today at like 1, so I'm just going to try. So, yesterday we ended up trying to mount these and it's just a huge mess. So, today we're going to try to do them the right way by myself. I don't need nobody to help me. So, I'm going to take these uh, elbows off, take these clamps off, put them up here, and then let's see what... uh outcome we get all right y'all so here is the 52 inch spool sitting on it and then the other one slides on it i put this block here just to hold this elbow up kind of where we want the stacks to sit as you can see we have a little bit of clearance there we did have to cut cut this little slit sideways we're thinking about cutting right here but we don't know we'll figure it out here soon enough uh but yeah i figured it'd be easier to mount the stacks first and then uh you know do all the piping underneath i don't know let me know what you guys think but in my eyes it that looks like to be the easier option mount them first and then do the piping i mean i don't know if you know something better let me know down below but this is we're on day two now yesterday was just a whole day of frustration with everybody in my ear trying to tell me how to do it but i finally talked to somebody that you know has eight inch stacks and they told me what they did so it's good to know people so <clears throat> yeah so we're gonna uh try and put the other mount on the top and see where that uh gets us all right guys so this is how far we've gotten we uh got the stacks on and it uh, looks like we're going to have to trim some because the stacks measure out to about 13.5 in total to the ground. <sighs> so basically we took a piece of plywood, put it on the top, okay? And then we measured to uh, the bottom. And there's an extra 7 inches. So in theory, that's 13.5, uh, 13.6 let's just say but yeah it does look pretty neat but it is too tall so basically right now me and my dad we're just gonna get ready to do the piping <clears throat> so we're gonna replace this pipe with a flex pipe this this like center pipe right there and then uh because this piece right here we're gonna have to cut a nice little portion of it so uh the elbow can fit because as you can probably see on this side how far the uh the actual elbow goes inside so so yeah you can see that we can we can put match the flex pipe onto this no problem but figured i'd just give you all an update i am about to go to freightliner and uh pick up uh what is it flex pipe and that's about it and I'm going to go to my house, pick up some clamps, and then we should be back to working. While I'm gone, my dad's going to try to fit this flex pipe on so we can get that side good to go. So, I'll stick on a bit. All right, guys. I just want to show you all what we did so far. Took out the whole wide pipe. We're going to take this piece off right here. We painted this a little bit and on the top just to make it look a little nicer. Even a spray paint job, man, would look decent on this thing. <laughs> I know some people are probably going to clown me for that, but I don't really care, dude. It's a truck. It's a working vehicle, but we got more flex pipe. My dad's cutting the Y. And, uh, yeah, we're going to basically make our own to where it fits. Because the uh, the elbow goes in about a whole, whole foot inside. So we're going to have to trim this and that, like how it is on the other side. But... All right, guys, so this side's dry, as you can see. Good. You can tell the difference. But, uh, yeah, we're about to put these bushings on, grease them up, and uh, throw them in, and then put the brackets on, and then we start fitting and cutting. All right, y'all, so here we have it. We uh, got the brackets on, took this little piece off, and next to do is to grab the clamp put install the clamp and then uh 
mount the uh, Y pipe and see how we're looking. So let's get to that. All right, guys. So we have got the clamps on. We got this part on. We cut it just enough. We have to uh, put the first pipe on top of this, which is a 52 inch spool. And then we got the bottom. We got this piece off. And we got this Y pipe that we're gonna put a small flex pipe on. Basically, we're gonna reroute it all the way to the turbo, so it's all basically new. And uh, yeah, that's uh, what we've got so far. But uh, on to uh, the rest of the stuff now. We got the other side mounted. My dad's getting the flex pipes ready for mounting. But as you can see, we had to cut just a little bit more on this side. And uh, I feel like we still need to do a lot more, but hey, better than nothing. Better than some of the people that I've seen cut. But she's sitting straight, clamped on, she ain't moving. This wood ain't even holding it up, but yeah, we got good gapping. So we'll have to see whenever we're done with it. And, you know, full, putting the whole thing on, mounting it up. But now our goal is to run the piping to the bottom and maybe hopefully get a first start by tonight we'll see all right guys so we're on day three <laughs> you might be asking why is it taking so long well it's uh it's a longer process than we thought um a lot of cutting required as you can see we cut a whole lot more because <coughs> our stack was sitting too low so it wouldn't align with the frame as you can see that side I may have to raise it just a little bit I'm not too sure but just so it sits perfect with the frame so we can put our Y pipe on. And then we should be ready to rock to start all the plumbing. But as y'all know, we got this flex pipe here. And then uh, we got our other one over there. Uh, so on this side, I don't think we're going to have to do any more cutting. I think this will be fine because the flex pipe will just reach this one. And... Uh, I think that's it and then we're done all right no. and then we're painting this with uh high temp paint just to i guess clean it up uh so looks better than what it did hopefully it can uh it won't take a crap on us then we gotta replace it down the road. And out of this pipe also came a piece of my old turbo that was on the truck when I bought it. It was like a big chunk. Came out of this side right here. It's sitting just right in there with everything else. All right, y'all. So, had to go to Napa. Got this pipe in here. Got the flex. Ooh, that's hot, boy. We had to start it up, air it up. I think we got this all good here. We might have to get some kind of mechanism to where it holds the exhaust up because it's touching the frame right there. And somehow we're gonna have to meet the other pipe down there. So we'll figure it out though. All right guys, so thus far we're back. I had to buy another four inch flex from Napa. Uh, it ran about 34 bucks. Oh man, this is definitely a, a job. All right, so thus far, got it all the way down there. Got it lifted up above the frame. All I gotta do is tighten these right here. And then as you can see down there, we gotta replace, take off that flex pipe, which is what I'm about to do right now. Got my snap on and my 9 sixteenths. And uh, yeah, I'm about to get to work and then cut that one up. And then connect this, put the top pipe on, and oh boy, she is about to scream. All right, guys, there we have it. We are done. Whoa, almost tripped. Dude, one of these freaking stupid bolts broke off. It like stripped on the inside, so we're missing one. Might have to go to Home Depot or something. See if they got one of those. Or well, I might have to make a trip to Rainey's or 75 Chrome Shop. See if they have any. But I hope y'all are ready for the first start. 
So uh, let's uh, let's do this first start with these uh, eight inch Lincoln Chrome stacks. guys well there you have it man that is the stacks installed dude this thing looks insane bro just need to paint this hood put that new grill on that we got put a visor paint the rest of the truck and man this thing is gonna look amazing dude ah <laughs> oh, dude it's so mean i love how it sounds um I just want to give a huge shout out to uh, number one, my dad, for helping me out. Because, man, this is so much customizing. It is unreal. Like, if, if I could recommend this to anybody, I honestly would just recommend you guys just to buy yourself the Peterbilt kit. I, f I honestly feel like it would be easier to move your steps two inches forward and get a Peterbilt kit to run it to the top than doing what I did because like we had to cut a lot more right here on this side i know it don't look perfect but trust me when you look at half the trucks i think mine looks a little bit better than most of them but yeah cut right here we're touching a little bit here we might have to adjust this just a tad bit that way um but yeah and then underneath a lot of freaking flex pipe a lot of freaking pre preformed clamps Ah oh, man, so like I said, man. First of all, big thank you to Lincoln Chrome for supplying us with these eight-inch stacks. Um, they the truck sounds wild, dude. Um, number two, my dad, my dad for helping me out. Without him, literally none none of the stuff that I do on the truck probably wouldn't be possible. You know, my dad helped me with the Lincoln Chrome bumper. Now he helped me with the Lincoln Chrome stacks, and who knows. Might be getting a visor. We'll see if Lincoln Chrome sells that. And uh, hopefully within the next coming weeks, we should be at the 75 Chrome Shop uh, truck show. And we can meet up with all the other classic guys and uh, just shoot it up and just have an amazing time. And if anybody is going to be there, make sure to come stop by, say hello. Tonight, I'm going to do my registration for the show. I know there's a couple spots left. The truck ain't show ready, but... I'm not going to win any comp win any trophies or anything i'm just going to be i just want to be in the show so i can meet all the people take pictures and you know just talk it up record just have a great time uh so yeah guys there you have it uh also another shout out to uh my buddy chris he's in the uh freightliner classic xl group he is the only one that uh, messaged me and kind of showed me how he had all the piping ran underneath. Um, I mean, I can show you guys right here how I ran mine. Uh, so there is the uh, flex pipe there. And then the Y goes over there. All the clamps. And then there you have it. Whew. Well, there it is, guys. To, to think how far this truck has come from before is just, it, it, it brings me joy. 
to think, man. That's wild. I have literally gotten sunburnt for the last three days just so I can get this for y'all. Just so I can get this done. And uh, we got it, dude. <laughs> we got it. Uh, so, like I said, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Sorry if it wasn't a step by step because there's just a lot of customizing when it comes to this stuff, man. It's not a joke. You really gotta know what you're doing, or you have to know somebody that's already done it before you. Um, so, there you have it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And uh, remember, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, let me know your thoughts down below, and hopefully I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.